guys, Team Nerd Reactor here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, guys, where are we? Netherworld! <laughs> All right, we're here with Devin Henderson. It's getting a little crazy in here. Can you tell me what's going on? Yeah, this is the backstage area for uh, Netherworld. This is where we do all of our casting. Uh, you get your costumes and your makeup. Behind me, you have your uh, costumes and your armory. We also have a sliders area for those monsters outside that slide on the ground at you. We have our uh, makeup area where you can watch uh, Roy Wooly from Face Off, uh, our head makeup artist at Netherworld, uh, do all the makeup for us. Man, this, this place is packed. Look at all these people. Yeah, we have uh, over 100 actors every night uh, throughout both haunts. And um, we have different locations. We have stunt scares. We have puppet scares. We have animatronics. We have um, people that talk to you, set the atmosphere, and everything. Hey, Roy. So, what you got here? This is Ruby, and she is just a corpsey top character. We're sort of doing a lot of veining work. I'm gonna go with like um, some a jaundice top look for it tonight. Uh, to make her look like she's just been really ill for a very long time. What's the craziest, craziest makeup you've done so far here? Oh wow, there's been so many. I mean, every one of them is crazy in some way or another. Especially whenever you're under a time crunch like this. Because I mean, normally you know, like like on the show, we had you know four hours, five hours to get somebody ready. Here you got five minutes. So so this is even crazier than Face Off ever was. Okay, Cece. So exactly what you got going on here? Yeah, right now she's actually going to be in the voodoo part of the honey house. So I'm painting a sugar skull on her, which is basically just going to start with more of a white skull, and then we're going to add some black in there for shading, and also for some designs on her face as well. Hey, Daniel, I see you got an energy drink. Is it because you're you know slow when you're dead? Tonight I'll be walking on walls, so uh, I need the boost. I'll explain that real quick. Well, I got a three-point harness that I'm wearing. One here, two here. I'll be hanging, and as people come in, I'll be over their heads, running across the wall, jumping across their their heads. So that's awesome. Scare. That is that is freaking awesome. Roar. You also have to learn to loom. You gotta stand over top of somebody and just loom over them. It's very intimidating. We're at the entrance of the hive, and uh, I have two friends here tonight. So, uh, what is the hive? The hive is a laboratory where me and Dr. Wellington do a lot of experiments on our new recruits coming through lines. I heard there's like a lot of bugs. Is that true? Um, yeah, this guy's just a baby. He's he's the least threatening of everything we have tonight. Excited? Yes. I'm hoping she doesn't pee. <laughs> Are you gonna pee? Are you really gonna pee? No, I just use the bathroom. Are you gonna be happy when your mommy or daddy screams? <laughs> yes. Yeah, go Is that gonna be the best thing ever? <laughs> when you hear a uh, bad she scream, somebody, probably him, because he's a brother, is about to die. Oh, why? Because black guys die first? Always die first. I've seen those movies. What is the best video game in hell right now? Uh, Skyrim, apparently. They don't stop playing it. I'm, I'm like, guys, we gotta kill things. They're like, hey, I gotta get this one more. This, I gotta make this sword. They, they got me going on this quest. So, how, how's finding a date here at, you know, another world? You know, it's Slim Biggins. They're all dead or out there from the neck up sometimes, you know. What about, what about Nerdzilla? Well, first off, she's Asian, so yeah. <laughs> oh, bonus. Well, she's pretty. She's nice. 
I think she'd hang on my wall perfectly. <laughs> As a mantle? Sure. So have you found like an awesome date yet? I don't need a date. This was my ex-husband. <laughs> Why do they call you the mangler? So, Mr. Big Brave Man, are you expecting to cry or run? Nope. No, no, these three are. Yeah. If this is a horror movie, there's always the jock, the hot one, the nerdy one, and, well, the virgin that always lives. In this group, who is who? I'm a jerk. There's two hot ones in our group. There's two hot ones? So there's no survivors in this group? <laughs> I'm the hot one. Nerdy one. Yeah, nerdy one. What am I then? The hot one, the nerdy one, and well, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I would survive. She would definitely die. And she would sacrifice me in a heartbeat. Darn right. Life. Best friend. Yeah. Definitely the hot one. I'm the hot one. She's the surviving bird. I knew it! She just called you out. You know what they say. The black guy always goes first. What do you say to that? This nigga can run. The black guy ain't gonna die in this movie. I'm breaking the stereotype tonight. Who's gonna die first? <laughs> wow. I'm gonna give you a tip, alright? Don't be faster than the flying banshee demon from hell. Just be faster than them, and you'll be alright. You don't need them anyway, because they're all pointing at you that you're gonna die first. Not cool, right? Not cool. Those are your friends. I don't claim them anymore. Why should people come and bring the kitties? Um, it's very entertaining. We scare you in a good way, and you'll leave with a smile and a scream on your face. Welcome to the hut. Just a quick reminder, in case you happen to be new, try not to open your mouth when you scream tonight. Okay, the mouth's in the play right in there, and we don't want your boyfriend by kids choking on a metal boy. Okay? <laughs> talking to one of the owners, Ben Armstrong of Netherworld. Ben, it's amazing. We just went through it. Nerdzilla was freaking out. Your monster scared our little puny monster. Well, at Netherworld, we just love to scare people in any way we can. If it's a phobia, if sudden loud sound, a hideous monster, just slimy and disgusting, we'll do it. We have all these custom creatures. The amount of artistry that goes into the stuff we make, great costumers, and then we have the great actors to pull it all off. So we got it all going on, and we're here to scare you and entertain you and show you crazy stuff you've never seen before. And there's a reason why it's number one in the whole entire world. I all right, number one in the whole world, right here from Nerd Reactor. You heard it here first, folks. We'll see you at Netherworld. How was it? It was freaking scary. scary. That's That's what it was, was funny at the same time. Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part? They were choking us. They couldn't they handle it. Like, I no, can't no, handle no, it. no, no, I can't handle it. Crying. My I back hurts crying. because of her. There was like this bug, the like there, oh, there was no, a no, chainsaw. Was chainsaw. The clown. The clown. The clown. The clown. I think I peed a little. Did you really? Are you honored that you peed in the world? Am I honored? Yeah. I mean, I guess. I mean, come on, it's a pretty big thing to pee in the world. I'm as. Best scream. One, two, three. That was pretty good. Come back and see us here at Netherworld Haunted House. We're open through Halloween in the first week of November. Yeah. Best haunt in the world. There you go. Best haunt in the world. You heard it from Roy himself. Best haunt in the world. Best makeup crew also. There you go. Thanks again, Roy. Thank you. <laughs> I was looking at the bug. Oh, I thought she was zooming in on my leg. Uh, no, no. <laughs>